Well, welcome back everybody to the Madison Family Farm. I've been kind of watching the forecast. It looks like the weather is going to start changing here next week. We're going to start getting some above freezing temperatures and a little bit below freezing temperatures. So it's looking like start the maple syrup season. Uh, today I'm going to go out. I'm going to walk around, take a walk up through here, and I had the tree go down on my lines. So I got to fix one of my wires up on here. I just kind of want to walk the lines today and make sure everything's ready to go when I have to start drilling and tapping. So let's take a little walk. Let's see how it looks. We had a little bit of a cold weather here this morning. It was only like five degrees according to my thermometer. But we've had quite a long stretch of cold weather lately. But I'm excited to see some warmer temperatures in the forecast. I was looking at the monthly forecast and it kind of looks like it's going to be the whole month of March. It looks like good sap weather. I see a lot of 30s and 40s. A few cold days, but not too many. So, I can get out here where a tree fell down and broke my wire. Uh, see if we can get that fixed and see if we can get this line tightened up a little bit and get things straightened out to kind of where it looks like it should be. You see where that line broke that? I pulled that wire. I'm going to take that off there and see if I can help use that, straighten that wire out a little better. Alright, well, I found where my wires broke at. Right there, and right there. And what my goal is try to pull some of this. I know I got some slack in this line. I got most of it. I don't know if slack this way or not. So what I'm gonna do is just re-splice this wire together best I can. I'm gonna do that or not. I'm gonna pull it tight first and then I'll strap it. Alright, splice back together. Ooh. It's not too bad out here tonight, but Nice and calm. As I said it only was about 13 degrees when I left to come down here. But it feels pretty good. The sun feels good today, so. Right, here's my adjuster pulley. Okay, I don't have a regular one on there. But basically all I'm gonna do is get it to work. Take my lines a little bit. Hopefully that wire will start working its way through there. Got my adjuster pulley tightened up on this end. I can look up through there, you can see where the sag is. Right about through here, there's a sag in the line. And I gotta walk back up through there and I'm gonna adjust everything back up. Just kinda eyeball it in and I'll come out and check it with level stuff later on. Make sure the flow it looks like it's flowing downhill, but it definitely looks like right through there, it looks like a little sag in there. One of the things I do, I, sometimes I'll run a piece of like uh, rubber around these. This comes off my main line around this tree and back around. And the nice thing is you can take this, take the whole thing and just kind of pull it tighter if you want. Just tighten up your wires a little bit. Helps tighten up your main line. But this is a dead tree so it doesn't really matter. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Just run a wire around it. But if you want to go around a live tree, I'll take a piece of 5 16 line. Just slide it over top of the wire and put it around there and then you can just each year you can adjust it and move it a little bit that way you don't hurt your trees any so the next thing i'm probably going to go do is i'm going to walk each one of my 5 16 lines make sure they're not buried or stuck underneath anything i'm thinking sunday maybe monday probably the days i'll be out here drilling and tapping the trees i'm seeing low 30s mid 30s and close to 40 a couple days next week so I want to make sure everything's ready to go. We're going to go up through here and check all these lines. 
Make sure everything looks like it's about ready to go there. Well, I got all that line unburied. Runs all the way down through there. Got this line over here. I see I got some debris sitting on the line. It's gonna take quite a bit to get this thing all straightened back out. But we'll get it. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. I'm getting ready to go out and set up my taps. Kind of get my drills, my batteries, and everything all charged up and ready to go. So what I've done here is I've measured out about two inches, put electrical tape on here, and this is about how deep I drill for my tap and my trees. Uh, and I run 5 16 taps, so this is a 1964 drill. And that's about what we run. Some of the articles I've read, they say inch and a half is deep enough for 5 16 up to two inches. I tend to go two inches thinking that, well, my tap's probably going to be out for about six weeks. So usually by then I think holes start healing up and it kind of slows down production. So I like tend to like to go to the two inch. So yeah, that's about it. I'm getting ready to head out. Uh, it's a little windy, a little bit of snow today, calling for it to change over to rain. So typical tapping weather. So we'll take a, look, a little look out the window here and get our stuff on and get ready to go out. I think somebody wants in. They said I had enough of this snow. Please let me in. Please let me in. All right, you talk to me. Do it. Come on in. Oops, got locked door. Come on in. Well, Fluffy's all happy now. I got that line all set. Excuse me. All right, so I got all them taps on this line done. I was just gonna run through, show you guys what I do. Some of this will be repeat if you guys watch some of my old videos. But basically, what I'm doing is kind of looking for a branch up the tree. And being a ton of snow, you can see where your main roots come out. So you kind of want to line up your taps with when you're putting them in. I think right there is my old tap hole, so I'm going to go over at least a little bit. There's a pretty good branch right there, so we're going to put a tap right about here. I'm going to put it on a slight upward angle. I kind of wait until I feel the chips building up in the drill, clean them out a little bit. Right here, clean the chips off the drill again. I'm going to look up in there, make sure there's not a lot of chip build up in the hole fairly clean. I take my tap, set it in the hole here, kind of tap it in. You listen for the sound. When it starts changing, don't hit it no more. Hear that change right there? That's about as far as you want to go in there. If you hammer it anymore, your tree will split and you'll see it running down the sides and it seems like every year I see a few trees that have splits in them. You'll see the sap kind of running down the side so you're losing a little bit then. But that's basically it for setting up taps on here. I'll show you guys a little bit of video. I'm going to go up here. i got to stretch a few more lines out and I'm going to add a couple lines in this year when I get some more uh, 5 16 lateral line coming in. As you guys can see I got that tap put in. You can look up through there, you can see the taps in that tree. Got this first line all set up and all tapped. And I think tomorrow or the next day we're supposed to be in the mid 40s, so hopefully we'll start seeing some sap run. Well, I'm back in the truck. It's starting to get a misty kind of rain out there. Don't want my camera getting ruined, so I got two of these lines. I got that line up. There's no line up over there on the other side of the dozer. So what I need to do is I gotta get this tank set up. So I'm gonna go out here and dig this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn that tank around and get it set down in where it's supposed to be.
Well, made it back to the house. It is raining and snow mix, and I'm about soaked all the way through. I got my five lines up I have out there right now. So I think I'm going to wait and let this weather change, and hopefully we get some sap running this week a little bit. And I'm hoping to put up two or three, maybe even four more lines yet this week. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys on the next video.